Well, the city of Buffalo and the Ralph Wilson Park Conservancy have inked a deal to share the operation and management of the new Ralph Wilson Park along the waterfront on the city's west side. Most Buffalo's Dave McKinley has more on what's ahead for the multi-million dollar makeover there. One thing that was stressed over and over again today was that nothing here, well, outside of $100 million worth of improvements, nothing will really change here at the park. It will still be owned by the city. It will still be open to the public for its use and enjoyment. But what this deal sealed at a formal signing ceremony at City Hall today will do is allow the Ralph Wilson Park Conservancy to operate and manage the park and maintain the improvements coming over the next several years to what was long called LaSalle Park. Ralph Wilson Park will be a place where everyone feels welcome and valued, where everyone has access to world-class sports facilities, exceptional green space, and boundless waterfront views. We were told today that the Ralph Wilson Park Conservancy will not be charging any fees to the city to operate and manage the park, in which the city will still be responsible for things like trash removal and grass cutting. Earlier this year, hundreds of mature trees were taken down as part of the renovations before construction begins in earnest this summer. One of the first big changes they say we're going to see is the removal of this old pedestrian bridge, which leads from a lower west side neighborhood into the park. More about the new bridge that will replace it and why replacing this one wasn't such a simple task. That's coming up next hour. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.